Career growth is not complicated. It's not easy. We're talking about years and even decades of experience. There's going to be ups and downs and a lot of different emotions and a lot of stuff to process over that period of time. Growing your career can actually be a fun process. It can keep you on your toes. It can keep you engaged. It can actually make you a lot more money. Let's look at 10 different strategies you can use to grow your career over time. Number one is setting clear goals. If you don't know where you're going, how are you going to get there? Make a decision, determine what you want to do, and put your effort into getting there. When I first got into IT, my main goal was to become a systems administrator. That's actually the job I'm doing now, so it's kind of funny. I started off on the help desk and worked my way up through desktop support and eventually did become a systems admin. I'm not the first person who's done this and I'm not going to be the last one. If you know the place where you want to land, you can study and actually get there. It makes the whole process so much easier. Without goals, it's easy to feel lost. Number two is continuous learning. And as you can tell, this is building off of setting goals. If you know what you want to do, get educated and learn what it takes to get there. Take some classes, get certified, get a degree, do what you have to do. Lately, I've been looking into the idea of pivoting from a systems admin to something like a security analyst or something along those lines. So I've been learning a lot more about security. I got a new certification and have been doing different labs and experiments on Try Hack Me. I've learned a lot about the process and a lot about the field through that. I've talked with other people. I'm kind of following some more security people on LinkedIn to kind of get acclimated to all of that. Getting educated is very important, especially if you're in a technical field, because you're always going to have to learn and you're always going to have to grow. Number three is networking. So this is actually building off of the first two. So you've got your goal, you're working on your education, and now you're gonna start talking to people about it. So like I said, I was getting on LinkedIn, I'm getting to know some people in the security field, and so that is networking. Getting to know people, letting people know what you're doing. Don't just tell people you wanna get into security, let them know that you've been working really hard at it and that you picked up an additional certification and that you're putting in hours after hours on uh, application like Try Hack Me and that you're really learning and that you, you wanna grow and you wanna do what you can with this field. It makes a big difference. I know as a systems admin, if somebody's really genuinely interested in it, then I'm much more likely to want to help them out and help them maybe clarify their path or maybe if they need to help with different education or uh, you know don't know exactly where they're going but might need a little assistance getting there. I'm willing to help, you know, it's it's good to know and it's it's good to be there for people who are doing that. If someone's trying to improve themselves, I'm definitely willing to help them and I've found that a lot of other people feel the same. Number four is seeking feedback. So maybe you're doing interviews and maybe you're not getting a job. You could just let it go and be done with it. Or you could follow up with that manager and ask them if there was anything you could improve. How could I actually set myself up to be in a better position to get this job the next time? Maybe you're talking to somebody who's already in that role and you're looking for ideas of ways that you can improve to make yourself better and make yourself fit a better fit for that job, for the criteria that they're looking for. It makes a huge difference. Just be there, be humble, be ready to learn and be willing to do what it takes. Number five is embracing challenges. You're not gonna get everything you want the first time. Sometimes it takes a lot of work to get there. And a lot of the times that's when it's really worth it. Because if you're gonna work and you, you're say, say you're setting yourself up for a $10,000, $15,000 a year promotion, should that be easy? If it was, everyone would be doing it. So definitely take the time, put in that effort, put in that extra work and you'll get there. Number six is often overlooked, and that's developing soft skills. I'm in a technical field, and it's really easy to prioritize that. I can look into all these different certifications and education programs that focus on nothing but technical elements. 
But <laughs> as somebody that's in tech, one of my uh, struggles actually can be the soft skills and, and the actual people relationships. And the, the higher up you get, especially in IT, the more you're gonna be dealing with people. You're gonna be dealing with people on a different level. So like when you start off and you're in support, you're doing brief encounters, you're helping somebody, maybe their email outlook or something is messed up and you're helping them fix that. But once you get higher up, you're working on projects. So this isn't just like a, see somebody for an hour here, see somebody for an hour there. You're meeting with this person weekly, sometimes multiple times a week. And so you have to be able to build those relationships and you have to build confidence in those relationships that you're gonna be able to do what you're supposed to be doing and that they can count on you to get that job done and the project is gonna be a big success and everyone's gonna have a great time in the process. And Technical skills don't really play into that a whole lot aside from actually getting the work done. But you spend so many hours just talking about and, and figuring out what work needs to be done before you ever get there. And the soft skills really pay off in that regard. Number seven is staying updated on the latest news. Let's go back to that security thing. If you're working as a security analyst, you need to keep up with the latest vulnerabilities and you need to make sure that you're able to mitigate those and, and take care of that. And if you're not paying attention to the news, you could often overlook something like that. Um, as a system admin, there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, Microsoft is always in the news. There's always something happening. Uh, even just their vendor news from them, they're always doing some sort of update and often it can actually affect a whole organization. And if you're not paying attention to the update center, you could really get hit pretty hard. And they told you, you know, they, they were actually warning you ahead of time that if you don't look at that and pay attention, then it's going to cause a lot of problems. So staying up on the latest news, staying up on the latest information your vendors are giving you is really important if you want to keep growing. Number eight is taking initiative. So maybe you have the opportunity to volunteer for a different project or a different team or something like that. Do it. Take that opportunity. A lot of the times that's where the growth happens. Maybe it's something new to you and maybe somebody else realizes it's something new to you and you can get a little extra assistance with it. And meanwhile, you're actually building relationships too. It's a win-win. Stuff like that always pays off. And I feel like my batteries are charged a lot more when I'm learning new stuff. When I'm getting into new technology and I'm growing and learning a lot, I feel really good about myself. And I think that that's a feeling that is well worth chasing, especially if you wanna progress in your career, if you wanna get promoted, if you wanna make more money, that's the feeling to chase, that getting to learn more and getting to grow. That's, gonna, that's what's gonna make a big difference in your career. Number nine might seem like a funny one, but it's maintaining a good work-life balance. And the reason for that is you need to not burn yourself out. So take your time, make sure you're going to family events, spending time with your family, and doing what needs to be done outside of work. Don't take all your effort, all your energy, and put it straight into work. You have to prioritize things. And what's most important, it's your family. So make sure that you're taking time and spending time with your family, putting that energy where it really needs to go. Number 10 is reflect and adapt. So you got your goals, but are you reflecting on them? Are you, are you checking your progress? How are you doing? And maybe your goal changed. Maybe it shifted over to something else. That's all right. It happens. I know that I've had a lot of different paths and I've kind of gotten distracted. Maybe I got distracted by a shiny object. Maybe not. It's okay to get interested in other things. And if your goals shift, that's cool. I mean, I went from a uh, help desk and desktop support and I was either going to do applications or systems and I went over to applications. Um, I liked it. I did pretty good with it. But then eventually I was like, no, nah, I want to do systems. So I went over to systems. Now I've done both of those and I've got a pretty broad range of experience. And I'm like, well, I kind of like to check out security. So it's OK. You can definitely shift 
and, and move your move your goals around and just adapt to them as as it happens you know you're not going to want to do the same thing your whole career probably and that's okay that's one of the beautiful things about it is that there's so many different things so many different skill sets and if you're ready and willing to learn you want to grow you can do all kinds of stuff you can keep growing you can stay maybe you just want to stay in one position because you really love it or maybe it gives you a better work-life balance or whatever it might be it's fine there's no rules to any of this stuff these are just a few suggestions of ways that you can grow your career and potentially improve your life so i hope you enjoyed this if you did please like and subscribe <laughs> till the next time